Hey guys, okay, I'm gonna admit I'm really excited about this lesson and welcome to an easy lesson, a quick lesson, and a lesson that you don't have to take notes on because I already printed them out for you. 10 questions on this, this is just to help you with one tiny area of um, the translation between English and Spanish that can get a little difficult, okay, when you start out with the Spanish. Because you know guys what the tendency is when you're translating from Spanish to English is that you want to translate word by word and there's a certain phrase that you cannot do and it's a phrase that we use a lot especially in Bible summaries and stuff like that I'm going to be teaching you today about the difference between want to and want me to want to is the simple one yo quiero hacer eso yo quiero comer eso right I want to do this that I want to eat that etc the hard one is want me to, want me to, want him to, want us to, want her to, it doesn't matter. That's the one that is like this. In Bible summaries, you may say, Dios quiere que nosotros, etc., etc., etc. Dios quiere, quiere que yo, etc., 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 right? And we want to translate it word by word. We want to translate it, God wants that I, God wants that we, God wants that she does this and we can't do that okay so this video because I came across a cool resource for it this video is just to change your mentality to change your way of thinking for that particular phrase Dios quiere que etc ella quiere que yo etc right so that you're forming it correctly and not forming it just by translation of word for word okay you'll do great it'll be quick it'll just help you adapt to it and just keep practicing it that's what you need to do you need to make sure that when you are going to use that phrase in some of your writing that you go back and check that the pattern is correctly if you still don't feel super confident in it okay so let's do this Okay, so let's look at the first one. Usted quiere ir. Okay, how do you translate usted quiere ir? Remember, this is the easy one. It's just practice. You don't have to write this down. It's just, do you want to go? Usted quiere ir, right? Okay, but what if I were to ask, quiere usted or usted quiere que yo vaya? Okay, now you cannot translate it word by word. You cannot say, do you want that I go? So what are you going to do? Okay, you are now going to use the objective pronouns. Okay, and this you might want to write down in your paper for the notes. You are not going to be using I, she, he, we, they. Okay, those are your personal pronouns you're going to be using the objective pronouns okay that is me her him us them okay so again when you're going to construir the want me to the quiere que yo algo you're going to be using the objective pronouns I'll list them again me, her, him, us, them. Okay. Quiere que, quiere usted que yo vaya. Let me show you how it goes. Do you want me to go? Not do you want that I go. No. Do you want me to go? The most important thing is that you know that you're using those objective pronouns. Let's keep going. Okay, now we're gonna be using some negative things. So we're gonna to have to be throwing in that word do or does or doesn't, etc. right? Look what it says, el no quiere comprar. Easy one, we know that. You guys are super smart. El no quiere comprar. He doesn't want to buy, okay? Now he doesn't want because it's he wants. No, 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 remember, the doesn't negates that. We're done. We already conjugated the does, so he doesn't want to 
by. Okay, now we're back to the other construction. Él no quiere que nosotros compremos. Remember I told you, do not translate that as nosotros as we. Translate it as the objective pronoun. I hope you wrote it down like I told you to, so let me tell you again in case you have to stop the video. Go find that piece of paper out of your binder, okay? Me, her, him, us, them. Okay, él no quiere que nosotros compremos. Let's look at it. He doesn't want us to buy. Not he doesn't want that we buy. No, he doesn't want us to buy. Okay? Okay, guys, I am 100% confident that that is all the practice that you needed. Okay, because you are going to remember that you need to use the objective pronouns. Now, a really good question that you might be asking right now is when do we know that it's want to and when do we know that it's want me to? I'm going to show you right here with the first two. You have que quiere comer. Que quiere comer. That is the normal version, the want to version. How do we know? Let me compare it to number two. Yo no quiero comer nada. Also normal because look what it says. Pero quiero que ella coma. Okay, when you have that quiere que... Quiero que, queremos que, when you have the K construction, that's going to put you into the want me to construction or the want her to construction in English. So number two is going to have the normal at the beginning and then the, the weirder version for the second half, okay? That's all the hints I'm going to give you for this. All you need to do is stop the video to um, do your homework because this is your these are your homeworks. I'm going to show you all 10 problems so I will not show you the answers for these. I will check them for you. Please show me 100% because I know that you guys can do this. Make sure at the top of your paper you put want to versus want me to and then um, number at 1 through 10. You do not need to write the, the question, just the answer that you're giving me, the, the translation. Okay, you can do this. Okay, nothing really to say here. Just stop the video and do these problems as well. Okay, please be remember when I told you. Okay, if you see the quiere K, then you need to make sure that you use the second construction. Almost there. Stop the video and do these two. And basically done. Okay, just do these two and you're good to go. I'm sure that you had a lot of success in this. All done, you guys. Not a super hard concept. Just need to change your mentality to make sure that you're not translating word for word in this case. Thank you so much. Hope to see 100% on all the papers.